Damn these turnbuckles. Pain in my... Hey guys, welcome back to the O&D Life. Today we're going to install the Hodge Telescoping Stabilizer Bars. There you are. There's some pictures. Um, we're going to do the install. So come along. Okay, for any of you guys that have those turnbuckle stabilizers that you have to loosen up to change implements, uh, you guys know know the troubles that uh, all of us BXer guys have. So, um, you know, finally broke down. I uh, saw that uh, Mr. Hodge was going to be making his stabilizers, telescoping stabilizers again um, on the Tractor Kubota and Equipment Forum and the BXer Forum. You know, he's active there and, uh, you know, he, he keeps himself busy making those, making these stabilizer bars. But uh, he, he had stopped for a little bit, just some personal um, reasons and, and concentrating a little bit more on uh, ministry, I believe it was. And so um, he wasn't making them. I happened to catch a post where he mentioned he had a little extra time and uh, was going to start back up uh, making some this spring. And so um, I got in touch with him. So if, if you need some, um, you'll have to put your order in because I can tell you shortly after that, um, a lot of other guys have contacted them to, to get their own pair. So, um, gosh, you know, just one thing to mention, you know, when you have a quick hitch, sometimes you can't always just back up and drop your implement. As you could see there, I was having a little bit of trouble. I had it tilted forward a, a good bit or tilted back, I think it was. And, um, so when I went to drop my box blade, the weight of it was, um, you know, pressing forward on my top hook and wasn't letting it come on down just with gravity. I could have probably gotten out and kicked it off, but instead I just had to turn, turn my top, top link bar and, uh, bring it in until it, uh, cleared basically. It didn't, it relieved the pressure. So that way it could just go ahead and drop down. So here next we've got to take off the turnbuckles. Gosh, these things get grimy and bent and just a, a real pain in the rear. You know, if you're changing your implements and you don't have a quick hitch, gosh, it, it, it drive you crazy messing with these things. Loosen them up, realize you need them a little bit more. And, you know, when you're fiddling with a, these implements and, and, you know, these BX implements are small, so, um, but they're still heavy. <laughs> you know, I put mine on, uh, rolling carts. So, I mean, that helps significantly, but, um, you know, just me messing with these turnbuckles, uh, it was time for an upgrade. So I've gotten them loosened up, taken off my quick hitch. And actually this isn't too bad because you don't have to loosen them up and take them out over the pins. These pins slide in and out. So the, the quick hitch is kind of easy to mess with. Um, so I get that off. And then of course I'll switch the view and, uh, we're going to take off the turnbuckles and just so you kind of see what's involved with that. Not that you guys couldn't figure it out, but, uh, Hey, take you guys along for the ride. Okay. To remove the turnbuckle stabilizers, there's just a pin that goes through that little chain chain link, I guess you'd call it. And, um, there's cotter pins that hold that pin in. So just have to 
get those cutter pins out and then pull the pin. You're good to go. Should be quick and easy, you know. Unless you're like me and then you start fiddling with it because you want to put them back through. Put the cotter pin back through and then you try and uh, bend the cotter pin because you don't want it to fall out. But then you almost stab yourself because you keep slipping. So, um, finally I say, what am I doing? And I uh, throw them off to the side and get started on the next one. So, get these out. Um, and it turns out these on the left were bent, the pins. So I had to, uh, uh, work on them for a little bit. Uh, I mean, just to get, um, not so much the cutter pins. I got the cutter pins eventually. They were kind of, um, I had a little bit of difficulty just because of my angle, trying not to get in the camera view and stuff. But, uh, finally got those out. And then realized how bent these pins are. And so I couldn't just, you know, pull them out. Um, and you'll see that here shortly. And along with um, a little bit of how I did finally get them out. What I had to do to get them out. So it ended up being a minor inconvenience. Not too bad. Um just happy to be replacing them. All right, let's see if you can see that. See how it's bent there. So I got to work on getting that straightened out. All right, we got the one side out. Got out the little little persuader. Kind of tapped on this one already a couple times. Not quite there. Let's see if I can't hold it in place and not smash my finger and maybe even get it in the on camera. That's the one I just took out. And here's the other one. So they were kind of bent up. Good grief. So Mark did put some tags on. Let's see if the sun is brutal today I gotta tell you so he had a tag on each stabilizer on one end and it kind of tells you if you're facing the back of the tractor you know which one's right which one's left and then attach this end to the lift arm 
kind of keeps you keeps you straight there so he's got a bolt on each end to attach so let's just get him get him attached here hopefully we we've got the lighting position that you can see. Just get that started. Okay. Okay, so Mark had included the uh, four bolts and a couple of nylon nuts. So I went ahead and just kind of tightened them on finger tight there just to get them, get them hooked up and um, functional in a sense, just to kind of show you how they work. And uh, I'll kind of go over that a little bit while we're on the back end here before we tighten them up. You know, so this is my first time just kind of seeing how they work. And uh, we'll discuss that a little bit here next so oh, quick view of telescope them out telescope telescope them like so let's see here One of the concerns that I've uh, seen, and that I kind of was curious about myself, was, you know, would you have a lot of play in the um, arms? You know, since you, you only have the spacing, it, you know, at first sight it looks like, oh gosh, you're going to have a good inch, inch and a quarter play um, from the different locations of the holes. But really, let's see if I can get my light in here and zoom in. The holes, you know, gives you, you know, depending on where you need it, the hole's going to line up in a different, different set. So you have, you know, if you need to go just a little more, then you have another, you know, another set lines up. So, not sure if that's clear. Cue the bolt tightening music. So I put it on my legs there. Quick hitch. 
has the pins here. You got to line up. Get one side in. Much easier. Just open those bars up. All right, so well, be really easy to. Uh, Pull it one way or the other too. So that'll be kind of nice. Now that I put the spacers on, um, doesn't quite cover the full uh, width. Like you know, of my my if I'm back driving, back dragging, um, or use my 48 inch box blade. Now I'm a little past with my tire, so you know at least I could shift it over. And pin it really easy and um, at least you know go out to the edge and then just have to overlap just a little bit each pass but that'll make it so much easier to lock in it's locked in over there Pull it back down to the middle. No more pulling, busting my knuckles, loosening up that turnbuckle. All right, so that's kind of the uh, little bit of a demonstration how they work. I will actually do a little bit more in depth review of the of the stabilizers. Uh, this video's gone kind of long already, so uh, be looking for uh, another video on these. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I truly feel blessed to be able to do this and contribute back to the YouTube community that I have learned so much from, such as how to do tractor and auto maintenance and repair, plumbing repairs in my house, electrical, which I'm certain has saved me thousands of dollars over the years. Not to mention the tons of entertainment watching tractor related videos in anticipation of my tractor, then how to use it or the attachments or what my next attachment mod I absolutely needed. I'm sure I'm the only one, right? To help support the channel, please hit the like button and comment below. This helps the video get suggested to other viewers. Plus, I really enjoy the interaction from y'all. If you want to see other videos of my tractor adventures, sub subscribe to my channel at ond life and hit the bell symbol to be notified when new videos are posted when you go to my channel you will find videos discussing attachments some safety lessons learned from a rollover i had and a time that the tractor was running away from me downhill and then there's videos of just getting orange and dirty if you are on facebook you can find me at OND Life. Like and follow the page for sneak peeks of current weekend projects and likely upcoming videos. Look in the description below for my email and link to the OND Life Amazon store where you can find some products that I use in the videos or just use or that I want. And I plan to order at some point from the store. Lastly, check out some of the videos in the description. I have some links. They're videos of products that can help keep you orange and dirty. Living the O&D life. O&D out.